what's going on everybody welcome back to my youtube channel we have this nice and beautiful question on the board that says x all over x minus 1 all raised to the power of 2 plus x all over x plus 1 all raised to the power of 2 is equal to 10 all over 9 and we're told to look for the value of x now we're going to be starting with substitution so I'll take this, which is x all over x minus 1, and say let this be a. And then I'll take this, which is x all over x plus 1, and say let this be b. Now let's rewrite our original equation. So this will be a squared. So a squared plus this will be b squared. So b squared equal to 10 over 9 so 10 over 9 well there is an identity for sum of two squares which can be written as a plus b all raised to the power of 2 minus 2 a b so this is the identity and this is equal to 10 all over 9 let's have a little more space now let's bring back our substitution we have a plus b our a is x all over x minus 1 plus b our b is x all over x plus 1 and this is raised to the power of 2 so we're going to be raising this to the power of 2 minus 2 times a times b so minus 2 times a our substitution is x all over x minus 1 times b b is x all over x plus 1 this is equal to 10 over 9 so this is equal to 10 all over 9 and then simplifying for that the LCM of x minus 1 and x plus 1 is x minus 1 times x plus 1 now let's divide so the LCM divided by x minus 1 we have x plus 1 times x we have x times x plus 1 plus now the LCM divided by x plus 1 we have x minus 1 times x we have x times x minus 1 and this is raised to the power of 2 minus now 2 times x times x is 2x squared all over the denominator we have x minus 1 times x plus 1 and this is equal to 10 all over 9 and then simplify further we have x times x is x squared plus x times 1 is x plus x times x is x squared minus x times 1 is x all over the denominator we have x minus 1 times x plus 1 which is a difference of 2 squared that can be written as x squared minus 1 and all these is raised to the power of 2 minus we have 2x squared all over this is a form of difference of 2 squares which can be written as x squared minus 1 and this is equal to 10 all over 9 and then simplify further x minus x is gone so we only have x squared plus x squared which is 2x squared all over the denominator we have x squared minus 1 and this is raised to the power of 2 so we're going to be raising this to the power of 2 minus 2x squared all over x squared minus 1 this is equal to 10 all over 9 now look at this and this they look very much alike so we can introduce substitution by saying that let x 2x squared all over x squared minus 1 be equal to y that means this expression can be written as y squared minus y equal to 10 all over 9 now let's clear the fraction by multiplying through by 9 so we have 9 times 
y squared minus 9 times y this is equal to 9 times 10 all over 9 so 9 times y squared is 9y squared minus 9 times y is 9y this is equal to this 9 can cancel out this 9 leaving behind 10 so we have a nice quadratic equation but now let's write it more appropriately by moving 10 to the left hand side and we do that we get 9y squared minus 9y and as 10 crosses to the left it becomes minus 10 this is equal to 0 now let's factorize this quadratic equation so we use the coefficient of y squared which is 9 times minus 10 will give negative 90 so the coefficients we're going to be using will be negative 15 times 6 because this satisfies this equation so we have 9y squared now let's distribute this negative 9y this will be negative 15y but then plus 6y which will give negative 9y good and now minus 10 equal to 0 now notice that 3y is common so we can factor out 3y open bracket 9y squared divided by 3y is 3y minus 15y divided by 3y is 5 plus now notice that 2 is common so we can factor out 2 open bracket 6y divided by 2 is 3y minus 10 divided by 2 is 5 and this is equal to 0 and since 3y minus 5 is common we can write that out and then open brackets here we have 3y remaining and here we have plus 2 remaining and this is equal to 0 so we have two cases we have 3y minus 5 to be equal to 0 or we have 3y plus 2 to be equal to 0 so let's start with case 1 so case 1 we have 3y minus 5 to be equal to 0 we're going to move minus 5 to the right hand side so that we have 3y to be equal to as negative 5 crosses it becomes positive 5 now to get the value of y we divide both sides by 3 so that this 3 cancels out leaving y to be equal to 5 all over 3 now for the other case which is our case 2 we have 3y plus 2 to be equal to 0 now let's move 2 to the right hand side this will be 3y to be equal to negative 2 now let's get a value of y by dividing both sides by 3 so I'll divide here by 3 divide here by 3 3 can cancel out leaving behind y to be equal to negative 2 all over 3 now let's recall from our substitution recall that we said let 2x squared all over x squared minus 1 be equal to y now we'll start with our first value of y which is 5 over 3 so this will be 2x squared all over x squared minus 1 equal to y this time is 5 over 3 now let's cross multiply when we cross multiply we have 3 times 2x squared which gives 6x squared to be equal to 5 times x squared minus 1 now let's distribute this 5 so this will be 6x squared to be equal to 5 times x squared is 5x squared minus 5 times 1 is 5 now collect like terms by moving this 5x squared to the left we have 6x squared minus 5x squared and this will be equal to negative 5 remaining on the right now see that 6x squared minus 5x squared is x squared and this is equal to negative 5 now let's take the square root of both sides to get rid of this square so this will be the square root of x squared 
equal to plus or minus the square root of negative 5. Now this square root can cancel out the square, leaving behind x to be equal to plus or minus. Now the square root of negative 5 is same as the square root of 5 times i. So there are two values of x from here, which is plus or minus the square root of 5i. Now, this time, let's solve for our second case when y is equal to negative 2 all over 3. Let's go there. So this will be 2x squared all over x squared minus 1 equal to negative 2 all over 3. Let's cross multiply. 2 times 2x squared is 6x squared equal to, now this negative 2, times x squared minus 1, so times x squared minus 1. Now let's distribute this negative 2 into the brackets, so we have 6x squared to be equal to negative 2 times x squared is negative 2x squared. Now negative 2 times negative 1 is plus 2. Now we're going to be moving this negative 2x squared to the left hand side. So that it becomes 6x squared plus 2x squared to be equal to 2. Now on adding, 6x squared plus 2x squared is 8x squared. And this is equal to 2. Now to get x squared, we divide both sides by 8. So that this 8 cancels out, leaving behind x squared to be equal to. Now 2 can go. So 2 divided by 2 is 1, 8 divided by 2 is 4. So I have 1 all over 4. Now to get the value of x, we have to take the square root of both sides. So I'll take the square root of x squared equal to plus or minus the square root of 1 all over 4. Now see that this cancels out this, leaving behind x to be equal to plus or minus. Notice that this square root covers 1 and 4. That means it can be written as the square root of 1 all over the square root of 4. Making the value of x to be plus or minus, the square root of 1 is 1 all over the square root of 4 is 2. So x is also plus or minus 1 over 2. Well, feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And like I always say, until next time, take care.